well, basically, I've had it up to here with you guys. Things are getting better in the world, um, and it's fairly straightforward t to know that. This wonderful guy uh, named uh, Hans Rosling, uh, or maybe it's Rosling, uh, I think it's Rosling, has uh, some great software called Gapminder um, that plots world data, and it can show. So, for example, this is a good plot with data uh, from 1800s uh, estimated way back then but getting more and more accurate as more and more countries did had census and things like this and ways to get this data till in the last 50 60 years it's it's pretty uh, pretty accurate data in most cases um, <coughs> and here's a chart of life expectancy versus income per person right life expectancy i think we all have to admit that the longer the life expectancy probably the better your health and most people would call that a good thing I'm going to and income per person well we know that more income per person uh, gives you more security and being able to eat and get an education and have some sort of a pursuit of happiness it, it does help people can say oh well it's bad because it goes up and other things go down well right that's what graphs like this so we can see if when the income goes up here uh, you know, some of these poor people, maybe their life expectancy drops further. So notice back in 1800, uh, these are, uh, well, I didn't finish. So the, each one of these bubbles is a country, and they're colored by the region that they're in, Asia, um, Europe, uh, or this is uh, Eurasia, Europe and Central Asia. And you got uh, the United States up here in the green, which is the Americas, and then the blues are Africa, and then uh, India, uh, the South Asia, India, Pakistan. All right, and then uh, North Africa and the Middle East is this, I don't know, color, uh, teal or something. What is that? Green. So. Uh, Back then, in 1800, nobody had a life expectancy over 40. And the richest countries were at uh, uh, GDP per capita, inflation adjusted, $2,000. Inflation adjusted, mind you. Okay. Here's what happened in the last 300 years. Look, see this? See this thing shooting back and forth? That's funny. Who is that? That's some country going up and down in life expectancy. This is us, United States. So entering 1900s here. This big red one is China. It's getting a little bit better. A little bit better. Oh, wait, what got poor? But the life expect. Oh, down in the communist revolution there. And everybody is drifting upward in this way and Africa is are the people left behind right now and they are still out of this square that we were all in right that's where we were 300 years ago now nobody's in that square see that's better right life expectancy So you can chart a bunch of other uh, uh, energy, education, let's see, education, um, uh, oh, literacy, adult female literacy 15 and above. So this thing will chart that, but we won't know that 200 years ago, so it only goes back to 75. So there's a bunch of interesting uh, child mortality follow, falling. You could create your own charts, but people have they've saved some interesting ones. Because you can chart things against each other that aren't. Uh, you know, it just shows no, there is no curve. 
screen capture software does slow down my machine significantly. Okay, um, so this is one that goes income per person versus child mortality, zero to five. Child mortality was up there, 300 um, per thousand. Look, we're getting richer first. This is United Kingdom, and this will be U.S. up there. Look, we're never at the lead of this health stuff, we, except for the how much we pay, but it's always like, who's this leading? This little circle here has been leading the whole way. I'm trying to get it. Oh, there. Oh, somebody in Asia just passed them. Japan. Okay, let's go back there and see who that little leader was all those years. What were they doing? These people were increasing at the same rate as us, Sweden. It's always Sweden. Um, on that original one, that's who that first country that was... Let's just go back to this guy. Okay, so if you look, and this is the one of the neatest ones. So this is the life expectancy versus per capita GDP, I think it was. So versus individual income, average individual income. Of course, you can break these countries down, all of these circles, if you break them down, and they have one that does that for the U.S. states. Ideally, we'd have software like this with information for every single city in the country every town and village okay so this back here talking about speed so if you go along here you'll see that that thing rising up and down up and down up and that now it's up sweden is that a coincidence probably not so let's turn on the trails and see what it does Trying to get its life expectancy bigger. Life expectancy. The U.S. is working entirely on income here. No change in life expectancy. Oh, now it goes up in the late 1800s. And there's Sweden. These are famines and things that lowered their life expectancy in wars. Wars are always spikes downward. Life expectancy, of course. Uh, here's an interesting one is China. So let's turn that off. China. Okay, let's watch what China does. In the 1800s, income's going down. 1850s, oh, it dies. Now they climb back up. Late 1800s, they're getting back to where they were 100 years before that we sent them back. I'm sure they are happy about that. 1900s starts to climb finally and then it's climbing but then dives with the communist revolution and then shoots back up and now it is catching up. Huh. So when the bubbles move on this, you can see world events. So let's look at Brazil, and then we'll be done for the day. Incomes going back and forth, life expectancy, nothing. Finally, 30s starts to climb.
See, the thing is, it isn't a zero-sum game. We're not making wealth really off of other people. That's that's a way to do it. That's the wrong way, and we need to work towards sustainability. Sustainability is going to be where we make our living off of the environment, off of the energy and minerals and, uh, you know, the foods that grow off of the environment. We can all be wealthy if we just make enough food and metals for us all to do the things we want to do to feel wealthy, like sleep indoors and uh, read the newspaper, though. I guess that's a bad example anymore. But, um, you know, to be able to, to have the pursuit of happiness. And um, there's really no reason that we can't all be up here in this in this corner. Right? And even further, actually. Even further. And we know that. If you just do some simple division and see what's gone on in the world already, we know that. And there's a reason all these African countries are down there. And it's, it's not religion, per se, or anything. It's, it's our attitude and what we pretend we want to think is possible or not. Cheers.